The early next day at the hamlet of Gunkar Jumalhari, the National Biodiversity Team is busy at work trying to locate their plots to start the process of monitoring alpine vegetation within the Jumalhari base to survey the alpine plants. Research on climate change impacts in the Himalayan has centered around glacial retreats, tree line advances, as well as phenological changes within the alpine vegetations. And today we have researchers from all over the world, including Bhutan, doing survey in various locations within the Jumalari base to see the impact of climate change on alpine vegetation. This initiative is a collaboration of biologists from all over the world working together through a shared method of research in an effort to see the long-term implication of climate change on alpine vegetation. The project is known as GLORIA. So GLORIA is an um, acronym for a Global Observational Research Initiative in Alpine Environments. Um, it's uh, essentially a shared method. So uh, we're working with this global network of people doing the same technique across mountain regions, uh, essentially every major mountain region in the world. Um, and it's a simple method. It's meant to be a long-term method such that we can revisit every uh, seven or 10 years um, and really get an idea of how vegetation is changing and how temperature is changing within the scope of climate change. We want to look at the impact of climate change on alpine flora, alpine plants. So that's why we are doing it. And uh, we are collaborating with Missouri Botanical Garden because uh, uh, they have the expertise in uh, research methodology. We are using this uh, standard, global standard methodology developed by Gloria. Uh, it's the Global Observation Research Initiative in Alpine Environment. They have these international standards to do this methodology so that the res results of the summit sites or the research can be compared uh, globally. So that's why we are collaborating with them. Obviously this research is a long-term process. It started seven years ago, all in an effort to find the implication of climate change on alpine vegetation as well as the world in general. The basic idea is that as temperatures warm, uh, the ranges of plants on mountains may start to shift upwards. So uh, these mountain summits that are uh, formerly and currently a little bit cold and forbidding um, are starting to get warmer and warmer and plants can grow at higher and higher elevations. Um, so that's what we're trying to capture and we do that by uh, putting in these very detailed monitoring plots um, at different summits from treeline up to the uh, limit of plant life at the highest elevations. The eastern Himalayan region particularly are critical when considering climate change. It is one of the most diverse temperate region of the world and climatically it is predicted that there will be a rise of 5 to 6 degrees in temperature making it one of the most vulnerable region of the world. If we lose the alpine flora because of climate change, we will be losing so many species, right? We have a lot of very important plant species, medicinal plants and plants that uh, we can use for many other purposes. So if we lose that, then it's going to impact uh, the livelihood as well as uh, our traditional medicine, uh, for example. Yeah? So that's why it's very important for Bhutan and globally as well, yeah. yeah I think uh, the alpines are very vulnerable to climate change. Uh, so the whole, uh, if we lose the whole uh, alpine flora, then you can imagine that we lose the whole biome. This alpine flora in Bhutan and throughout the Himalaya is unique. It's um, especially rich in number of species and in endemic species, species that are found nowhere else outside these alpine regions. Um, and it's also, of course, very useful. These alpine uh, areas are used for uh, pasture land, for gathering medicinal plants, and for um, as uh, sacred religious areas. And so when they start to disappear, when the forest moves up, when uh, in perhaps lower elevation invasive species move in, that becomes a threat to this unique and very important uh, vegetation community. Yeah, we just hope that uh, we'll be able to do a monitoring again. This is our first uh, resurvey. We are doing the first monitoring. And after we are able to analyze the data, uh, if you find like a very, uh, if we find great impact or negative impact, then we hope that we'll be able to develop some strategy on how we can uh, protect or conserve our uh, alpine flora. So that's the hope. But uh, just now we cannot uh, say much because we are 
just doing the first survey and we have to compare uh, what we had documented in the first, um, uh, I mean, when we laid the plot in 2011. So we will do the comparison and then uh, we will see what we can come out with. Yeah. I think the thing to really emphasize is here is how much this relies on collaboration. So Gloria is this network of collaborators working across the world. Um, and then here in the Himalaya, we're just, I'm so lucky to be part of this collaboration involving the National Biodiversity Center and then also Tribhuvan University. We're joined by Dr. Suresh Gamire from Tribhuvan University in Nepal.